Okay, hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm talking specifically about the market for physician services, right? For the services provided by physicians and how this is demanded and supplied, demanded by patients and supplied by physicians themselves. One important observation is that, well, the demographics of the population really determine the need, the demand for physicians in particular areas, right? So as the population changes, the specialties that are going to treat the medical conditions that are happening for that population are going to dry are going to be are going to increase they increase the demand for physicians in those areas and decrease the demand in for physicians in other areas what about the supply response well medical school plus residency takes a really long time so my brother is a physician now and as long as i can remember he was in medical school and doing a residency it's a really long time so we'd expect the supply of physicians is going to be very inelastic in the short run, right? Because of this long duration. Once you're in, you're kind of committed to becoming a physician. So the slow supply response means that changes in physicians' incomes probably don't translate into immediate adjustments in the number of physicians practicing, right? You change physicians' compensation, and for, to get a response, it's going to take a long time. What does this mean? Well, there's a probably pretty inelastic response in terms of the supply of physicians to changes in income, meaning for a, a given change in physicians' incomes, you're probably not gonna get a very large response in the number of physicians available, at least in the immediate term. Over time, yes, we'd expect the response is gonna be much more elastic. So there's a partial solution in the US. So uh, US immigration laws tend to have Fewer restrictions on foreign trained physicians, especially during times of perceived need. So the idea is like we, if we are unable to train enough U.S. Uh, trained physicians, then physicians can be imported. So, okay, in terms of other things pertaining to the demand for physician services, the market for physician services, think about the specialties. It's really difficult to think about the the correct proportion of physicians practicing in a number of different specialties. This has to be forecasted based on the number of current practicing, those anticipated entering, those anticipated leaving, and then the needs of the population. So it's really difficult to know, for instance, how many primary care physicians, how many specialists the system needs as a whole. And ultimately, these policy concerns are going to be based on the projected number of patients compared to the projected number of physicians in terms of thinking about like how to, how, how, how the distribution might look in the future. Then there's a geographic problem. So even as there's a concern for the falling amount of general practitioners, primary care physicians, there's another problem, which is that there's fewer and fewer physicians who are willing to practice in rural and inner city areas. And that's a problem because in, so in rural areas in particular, with the advance of internet technology, it's become more, more there's less of a need perhaps to be moving to cities for a lot of individuals however probably not for physicians because physicians might have trouble accumulating the type of economies of scale that's uh that's possible in an urban area where there's a large volume of patients relative to a rural area where there's a small volume of patients anyway so in many areas many rural areas there's a, a serious problem and so that's something that policymakers will need to confront in the future in terms of physician compensation, well, to a large degree, a strength of the U.S. healthcare system is the fact that specialty care is so prominent. That's good in the sense of improving the quality of care, but it's bad in the sense that it's a primary driver of costs. Even so, this is something that's driving continued uh, the continued incentives for physicians to go into particular specialty areas rather than into primary care.